So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another React Native tutorial. This one would be a quick fast tutorial on a little tip that would help you save some uh, mind and time basically. So it's basically about relative paths. So as your application grows, what you would see essentially is that you are importing stuff like import something from and you know redux and reducers and um, anything like system actions like that so it kind of sucks right so you do not know if this path is correct or not and you maybe like spend a lot of time on refactoring this stuff especially if you're not working with a you know standard ide like vs code you can consider it as an IDE, but I do not really consider it as one. So, um, yeah, so in this case, what you need is basically something like if you can do just this or maybe like this. I prefer this at the rate approach because um, it kind of like makes sure that I'm not actually importing a node module, but um, these days node modules also come with at the rate like Babel or you know material ui is also at the rate material so yeah anyway so it kind of makes me sure that uh, it's the one i'm aliasing somewhere in the source code so how to make sure how to make um this thing work so this is start with components so i'm going to change my app components all this stuff so i can do something like this and say that this is at the rate components right obviously it would fail right and it should so how do we make sure that whenever I write add rate components it targets this directory it's simple you have to create a package a json file and right here inside the name property write the name components but right? well, it makes sure it's invalid but it's okay because you're not essentially making use of this as an actual package so hit save hit save reload and boom it works fine so you can see now you can refer um, if you're anywhere in your app and you want to get a component let's say if you have a loading component here so you can just directly include it from add the rate components and loading so that kind of makes things simple and cleaner in your code base and uh, these are the things you should always consider so yeah that's basically it for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one Wait, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.